In this video, we're comparing the Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition to the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. Now, as an owner of both of these watches, I think there's pretty awesome features of both. However, there is a clear winner. So let's find out. Welcome back to the Chisholm Hunter channel. My name is Harrison as always. And today we're talking about the Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition versus the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. Now, for the purposes of this video, we have the white dialed Mechanical and the blue dialed Expedition, but please remember there are more color variants to choose between and we'll put them on the screen now. The Mechanical has a lot more variants, but it's been out for a lot longer. Now, I've owned the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical for a couple of years and I've owned the Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition for about two months, Drew two months and there's loads of similarities but there's also a huge amount of differences let's take a look let's begin with the basic specs before we get into the the nitty gritty watch nerdy detail so the expedition model in my left hand comes in at 37 mil however there is a 42 mil variant of that model now the same applies for the hamilton khaki field mechanical however it comes in at 38 or 42 not 37 now, 37 is slightly too small for my wrists, I would say. I do love my watch. However, I would like it at 38 or 39. That's just personal preference. So actually, the mechanical kind of wins the sizing battle. The Expedition model in my left hand comes in at 10.45 millimeters in thickness, which is still pretty damn impressive for a fully automatic watch. Whereas the mechanical model in my right hand comes in at 9 0.5 mil in thickness, which is still pretty impressive, but this isn't an automatic. It is a manual wind, which means that it doesn't have that rotor in the back of it, which takes up more room. Now, I do prefer slimmer watches. However, if you consider both the slimness and the movement, the Expedition wins. Now, both of these models do come in stainless steel. However, there's definitely a weight difference between these two. And I think that's predominantly down to, firstly, the caliber of the movement, secondly, the automatic versus mechanical, and also just the quality of steel and build of the watch. So the Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition comes in at roughly 69 grams to 70 grams on the calfskin leather strap. Whereas on a NATO strap, the mechanical comes in at 60 grams. Both of these models have different strap options. One of them has a NATO strap, the mechanical has a NATO strap, and the Expedition has a calf skin leather. Now they both are available on the bracelet if you want to choose that, and the bracelets are very, very similar. However, there has been some slight tweaks and upgrade to the Expedition bracelets. Now, personally speaking, what I did with my Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition is I actually took this green NATO strap off my mechanical and stuck on the Expedition. Because I am not a fan of the calfskin leather strap. I wear my watches on the bone, so it kind of just looks a bit squint and doesn't look right. Now, the bracelets on both of these watches for the money are decent, they're all right, but I prefer the NATO strap. I think it looks absolutely killer. So that is one point for the mechanical. Mechanical? Mechanical. But you can always switch it over. Looking at the case on both of these models, getting a bit deeper into the case on both of these models, there's quite clear differences between the two. And to summarize, I would say that one is a lot more polished. One is a lot more deliberate, whereas the other is maybe a little bit more mass produced looking. Now they are Hamilton watches. They are volume watches. That's not a bad thing. However, it looks like with the Hamilton mechanical, there has been less thought in the design, but more thought in the practicality. Whereas flip it around in the expedition. There's been more thought in the design, but maybe less in the practicality. I do think that the sandblasted nature of the uh, mechanical's head, the head of that watch, gives it more durability. It makes it more of a fueled watch. However, the brushed and polished nature of the expedition makes it more of a style accessory and makes it more good looking and photogenic. It's a very Instagrammable watch, that's what I would say. It's very photogenic. This can also be seen on the lugs of both of these watches. Now, when you look at the mechanical's lugs, they're very long, they're very straight, and they're not exactly stylized amazingly. They're kind of, you know when you look at something and just think, ah, it'll do. That's kind of what that looks like. Whereas on the Expedition model, they're a lot more deliberate, a lot more pronounced, a lot more polished, a lot cleaner is how I would describe that. 
so I definitely think the Expedition wins here. However, I understand with the price difference why the mechanical is the way it is. Now it is hard to see those differences just in the videos that I'm showing you, but what is better to do is get a picture of them side by side on the Chisholm Hunter website, where we're actually official stockists of Hamilton watches. If you click the link below, you'll go straight there. Just get them up side by side and you'll see those changes or those differences a lot clearer. Now a huge difference between these two models, of course, is the thing that everyone was talking about. It is the bezel, the compass bezel on the Expedition model. Now this bezel, this compass bezel does work. I can guarantee that. Do I know how it works? No, I don't. Now, Adrian and I were actually in Banff with Hamilton. We got invited out to the launch or the pre-launch event of this, this model. And they did show us how to use it and we did use it live and in action. However, I just can't, I can't remember it. But the fact that it does have that extra flair, that extra fleck, that extra bit of watch nerdy fun is just, it's great. I love it. And, and, and you can't deny that it's cool, even if you don't use it. I mean, think about diving watches for a second. Have you ever dived with your diving watch? The odds are you probably haven't. You're a bit like me. You're probably a desk diver and that's okay, that's fine. But you can't knock functionality when it does work, even if you won't use it. But with that said, the mechanical version does have a really nice simplicity about it. It's there to read the time and to read the time only. And I like that. There's also some pretty major differences when we get to the crown on both of these models. So the notches on the uh, Expedition model are a little bit wider, a little bit grippier, a little bit deeper, and there's not as many of them. Whereas on the mechanical model, they're a lot closer, a lot finer, and maybe perhaps a little bit harder to turn. I would just describe the Expedition model in general as more refined. Now, a little watch nerdy thing that you might notice is the H logo, the Hamilton logo, on the crowns of each. One is polished and one isn't. One is sandblasted. So the more expensive one is probably the polished, which is on the Expedition. Again, it's just that little bit more polished, that little bit cleaner. Now, there's some pretty huge differences and also similarities when we get to the faces of these watches. But before we do that, what is on your wrist today? It's time for the Chisholm Hunter tradition, which of course is the wrist check. I have the Christopher Ward 12 on today. It was gifted to me from Christopher Ward, which was very, very kind of them. And I've been repping it for a while now. There's things that I like, but there's also some things that I've picked up that are a bit niggly. However, it's a cool watch. Now the faces on both of these models come in different colors. For example, in the Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition, you have blue, black, or white, and you have a couple of different colors as well in the mechanical variant. So let's not go over the colors yet. However, there is a lot more variants to choose between in the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical because it's been out for longer. The styling on both of these watches is very, very similar. It's big, it's bold, it's readable. It is a khaki field model that is designed for the field and for the army. It's meant to be durable, it's meant to be readable, it's meant to be a watch that you can use in the field, hence field watch. So they are very similar, however, the 24 marks, uh, or the 24 hour marks, have been stripped out, giving it more simplicity in the face of the Expedition. However, it does have that bezel, which is an extra layer of complicatedness, so to speak. So they've kind of taken something away to add something else, which is smart. However, I do prefer the cleanliness of just having one set of numbers on a face to two. Reason being, and this is very personal, is I'm very dyslexic to the point of, I cannot spell, and actually a lot of the uh, errors that you guys pick up on the spelling of these videos and on the Chisholm Hunter Watch's Instagram are mainly me and Drew's also dyslexic, <laughs> so, so we just struggle with this kind of stuff. One more little change that you'll see, and this is only something that really nerdy watch guys will see, is on the bottom of the second hand, there is a larger circle, a kind of designed circle, on the mechanical than the Expedition. To be honest, I think I prefer the mechanical here in terms of design. However, that kind of stuff is subjective. Something else that I love that they've kind of carried on the tradition of is having those tanned hands and uh, minute markers. They've carried that on from the mechanical and carried it into the expedition. And I love that. It kind of gives it that more of a vintage feel and it makes it feel like more of a field watch. The Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition has an open case back, whereas the mechanical obviously being 
a Mechanical doesn't have an open case back. Both of these watches have 80 hours of power reserve. However, the main difference in the movement, and we can cover the detail in the, of the movements in a second, is that one's automatic and one's not. Now, there's positives and negatives to both. You wouldn't choose an automatic car over a manual car, and you wouldn't choose a manual car over an automatic car. They both have different personalities. And actually, depending on the way you look at it, you could have more of a connection with your manual car because you're cranking it through the gears. It's more fun to drive. However, the automatic's more smooth, more chilled out. Less thought is involved. And that's kind of the differences in these two. Less thought is involved in the expedition, but perhaps you have a more pronounced connection with the mechanical. If you want to see the actual detail, the intimate detail of each movement, we've done reviews on this watch and also the Expedition watch, which was a Chisholm Hunter special. So uh, we'll link it probably down here or maybe up here if you want to see that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please consider hitting that subscribe button or uh, follow us on Instagram. Chisholm Hunter Watches is the Instagram page. And mostly we talk about watches. I'll see you soon.